As Americans stay home, working moms and dads are taking on the role of caring for and teaching students. Dr. Greg Mattingly, an expert in ADHD, joins us now. This is especially a hard time for parents of children with special needs. You know, these times are stressful for all of us, but especially for children, and especially for children who maybe have an underlying, you know, developmental issue or a certain struggle. So in my expertise, I take care of a lot of children with ADHD, a lot of parents and families with ADHD and other developmental issues. And so, you know, this is a time of reassurance, creating structure, taking time to use affirmations. Give your child positive affirmations. Give yourself positive affirmations about the job you're doing with your child as well. What are your top suggestions? Yeah, let me give you some tips. And these are some of my take-home tips that I use with my families here in St. Louis. And number one is, create structure within your day. So in the same way that a school has structure, you want your home learning environment to have structure so your child has the best chance of success. Get up at a consistent time, have breakfast at a consistent time, and then start the first subject, but start the subject that your child enjoys or looks forward to. You want a subject that they tend to be successful with so you can give them a positive affirmation, and then break the day into chunks. You want to break the day into chunks so that they can see that each of those chunks are accomplishing something. And one of my parents said it best, have a checkoff list. Every time they get something done, give them an attaboy, a a high five, and then work your way towards the most difficult classes and schedule those around 1030 in the morning. The reason you want 1030 is that's when concentration for children with ADHD tends to be at its peak. So schedule that difficult class about 1030. A last take home is remember our children tend to mirror our emotions and our behaviors. So it's important for us to model the emotions and the behaviors we want our children to have. So if you run around with your hair on fire, your children are going to run around with their hair on fire. If you're blowing up and yelling at your kid and asking them to be calm, they're likely to blow up in response to you. So approaching your children calmly, taking time to affirm them, give them positive affirmations every time they have a small win throughout the day, and then taking time to affirm yourself. Jimmy, I'm proud of the job you've done today. But man, I'm proud of the job we've done together. You'll see that your children will mirror that back to you. Yeah, there, there's a, a, a website we've put together. It's for information for families. A lot of my families have used it called moretoadhd.com. It has symptoms and signs you want to watch out for with your children. It has a lot of these positive learning tips. It's got videos that you can watch as a parent, and it's got resources and links to other websites that I think you'll find very beneficial during this time. Thank you, doctor, for your wise words. Take care. Bye-bye. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.